Welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the equations of moment of inertia of some standard shapes. Outline of this session. In this session, we will learn about the equation of moment of inertia of some standard shape like first rectangular section, second hollow rectangular section, third circular section, fourth hollow circular section, fifth triangular section, sixth semicircular section and seventh quarter circle. So let us start with rectangle. So the first shape is rectangular section. Here this is a rectangular section which is having width B and depth D. This is the XX and YY axis which are centroidal axis passing through the centroid of rectangular section. Now the equation of moment of inertia I about XX axis that is I XX that is equal to BD cube by 12. The value of moment of inertia about YY axis it will be DB cube by 12. So I YY is DB cube by 12 and the moment of inertia of this rectangle about the base it will be BD cube by 3. Now uh, this is section modulus Z. Section modulus we know the equation of section modulus Z that is equal to I upon Y maximum. So I XX for rectangular section that is BD cube by 12 and Y maximum that is distance of extreme fiber from XX axis. So that is equal to half of this D by 2. Simplifying it ZXX will be equal to BD square by 6. Same way ZYY will be equal to I upon X maximum. So IYY that is DB cube by 12 and X maximum that is B by 2. So simplifying it ZYY for rectangular section, section that will be equal to DB square by 6. Now let us move to hollow rectangular section. The next section is hollow rectangular section. Here this is a hollow rectangular section which is having outer width B and inner width small b. Capital D is the outer depth and small d is the inner depth. In this case moment of inertia about xx axis will be equal to capital BD cube minus small BD cube divided by 12 and IYY will be equal to capital DB cube minus small db cube divided by 12. From this zxx can be worked out. zxx that is ixx upon y maximum. y maximum that is distance of extreme fiber from the neutral axis. So it will be half of d. So equating it in the equation zxx and simplifying it zxx will be equal to capital BD cube minus small BD cube divided by 6 capital D and ZYY that is equal to IYY that is capital DB cube minus small DB cube divided by 12 divided by X maximum. So X maximum is the distance of extreme fiber from neutral axis. So it will be B by 2. So equating it and simplifying will get ZYY that is equal to DB cube means capital DB cube minus small DB cube divided by 6B. Now let us see for circular section. The next section is circular section. Here circular lamina having diameter D has been shown. These are the centroidal axis XX and YY. So moment of inertia of the circular lamina about XX axis that is I XX. It is pi by 64 D raised to 4 and as the circular section is symmetric about any axis in the plane of the section i xx and i y y will be same it is pi by 64 d raised to 4 now let us work out section modulus z xx so the equation of z xx that is i xx divided by y maximum y maximum that is the distance of neutral axis from extreme fiber so distance of neutral axis from extreme fiber is half of diameter d by 2. 
that equated in the equation of zxx and the value of zxx has been obtained as pi by 32 d cube same way zyy will remain same as circular section is symmetric so it will be also pi by 32 d cube now the next section is hollow circular section here the external diameter of hollow circular section is capital D and the internal diameter is small d. Now the moment of inertia of this hollow circular lamina about this centroidal axis xx is ixx and the equation is pi by 64 capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4. Same is for yy because it is symmetrical section so i y y that is pi by 64 capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 now section modulus about x x axis the equation is i x x upon y maximum the distance of extreme fiber from neutral axis is half of diameter so it will be d by 2 on simplifying it the value of z x x has been obtained as pi by 32 d into capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 and the same is for section modulus about yy axis zyy and it will be also pi by 32 d into d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4. Now let us move to the next section that is triangular section. In triangle two type of triangles are there the first is right angle triangle the base of right angle triangle is b this is the altitude of right angle triangle h these are the centroidal axis xx and yy now the moment of inertia of the right angle triangle about xx axis that is ixx and the equation is b h cube by 36 moment of inertia of this right angle triangle about base means this axis it is i base which is parallel to xx axis it is bh cube by 12 iyy that is moment of inertia of right angle triangle about yy axis is hb cube by 36 and the moment of inertia of this triangle about base that is i base which is parallel to yy axis it is hb cube by 12 now let us see it about the simple triangle. Now for the triangle which is having base B and altitude H, these are the xx and yy centroidal axis. So moment of inertia of this triangle about xx axis that is bh cube by 36 and if we work out moment of inertia of this triangle about this yy axis it will be hb cube by 48. Now moment of inertia of this triangle about base it will be bh cube by 12. Now let us see the equations for semicircular section. The next one is semicircular section. So this is the diameter of semicircular section. This point is center of circle. This is the centroid of circle and xx and yy are the centroidal axis. It is very well known that the distance of center of semicircle to centroid of semicircle is 4r by 3 pi. So here moment of inertia about the semicircular section about xx axis can be worked out by this equation point 11r raised to 4. Moment of inertia of the semicircular section about base that is equal to half of moment of inertia of the complete circle. So for complete circle it is pi by 64 d raised to 4 divided by 2 that is half. So moment of inertia about AB axis IAB that is equal to pi by 128 d raised to 4. Now moment of inertia of the semicircular section about YY axis that is pi by 8 r raised to 4. So it will be equal to pi by 128 d raised to 4. Now let us see for the quarter circle. Now the last one is quarter circle. This is quarter circle which is having radius r. 
this is the center of quarter circle and this point is the centroid of quarter circle xx and yy are the centroidal axis passing through the center of uh, centroid of quarter circle now moment of inertia of this quarter circle about xx and yy axis will remain same it is 0.055 r raised to 4 same way moment of inertia of the quarter circle about oa and ob axis will be same and it is pi by 16 into r raised to 4 so these are some important equation for moment of inertia of some standard sections these are very useful in solving the problem related to moment of inertia thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt or query please write in the comment box i will be there to help you thank you thank you very much